North Korea, despite being weak, despite being poor, despite being isolated, North Korea still has some high cards in its hand that it can play. This includes enough plutonium for five or six nuclear weapons, five or six nuclear weapons that could be uh, constructed within a period of weeks. Uh, it's also possible that the facilities there could produce annually uh, enough nuclear weapons so that within a very short period of time, North Korea could have a significant nuclear arsenal. Japan is very seriously concerned about North Korea's nuclear and missile and other security issues. As you know, some reports said that North Korea has already deployed more than 100 Nodo missiles whose range covers the entire territory of Japan. What does North Korea want? Is it trying to blackmail its neighbors? Is it trying to deter an American attack because after all it is part of the axis of evil? Is its admission a desire to force the United States to re-engage with it on a much broader scale? The people who I know, who, who know a lot about North Korea, a lot more than I do, say this is the most interesting statement they've ever seen come out of Pyongyang. And I'll read the paragraph that he pointed us to. Quote, we clearly told the U.S. Presidential Special Envoy that we are entitled to have nuclear weapons to safeguard our sovereignty and right to survive in response to the increasing U.S. threat of crushing us with nuclear weapons." Unquote. We did hear their request for the ways in which they wish to end this situation or resolve this crisis, whatever you, words you want to put on it. First and foremost, it is some kind of guarantee of their security and sovereignty on the part of the United States. And they're speaking specifically of an agreement or pact on non-aggression. They're asking that they, their security be guaranteed. I don't know how you guarantee it, but it, it at least be recognized as, as that the U.S. would not attack them. Is the United States willing to talk with North Korea? Another important question. Does the administration feel that the North Koreans can really understand its goals unless it engages and communicates those ideas to them directly across the table? Japan and South Korea have our own channel of communication. Japan and South Korea have more leverage. I think that uh, Japan and the United States and South Korea can seek for the peaceful solution of the issues by closely coordinating our policies and by also cooperating with Russia and China and by further enhancing the credibility of our security arrangements. It's useful to recall in this context that President Bush has said he wants this crisis resolved by diplomacy. Well, in my mind, diplomacy means that you talk to some people. And earlier this year, when the president was in Seoul in February, he said the U.S. has no intent to invade North Korea. In other words, the United States has no hostile intent towards the North. Now, if the president could say that unilaterally in South Korea, what's stopping the United States from repeating those same words across the negotiating table in order to win important concessions? from the North Koreans. I still think ways can be found, and I hope ways can be found, to discuss this thing and, and, and rationally and bring it to some agreed conclusion because to me there is no other practical way. We can threaten them. And we can do as in 94, come close to going to war, or God forbid go to war on the Korean Peninsula, which would be a horror an absolute horror. But if we're going to solve this problem in a way that uh, comports with the objectives of the United States, the international community, and the DPRK, we're going to have to do it 
through some kind of conversation.